So some of you guys might know what this is, some of you might not, but um, this is something that's pretty important to me. Yo, oh man. Listen, this, this is what I do it for. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Okay. Man. What's going on guys? Kyle Hunter here bringing you yet again another video. And today I wanted to share with you guys how that photo that you guys just saw sold a $2,500 camera. All right, so really quickly to go ahead and just talk about it. As many of you guys probably have seen on this channel, I've kind of recently swapped over and started talking a lot more about creative direction, photography, video, um, in addition to wanting to introduce some more gaming stuff in general to the channel, but just for the moment, it's really been a lot of photo and video stuff recently. Um, I got my camera two months ago. If you guys didn't know, prior to that, I had shot exclusively on my iPhone. I was doing mobile photography, kind of getting the idea down of just like the basics of photography and learning it through that. So I'm telling you guys this stuff because it's a bit of a backstory and it's a bit of background information into how we come to be where a photo that I've taken sold a $2,500 camera. To answer really quickly, the camera that's in question here that was sold was actually the same camera that I'm shooting on, a uh, Canon EOS R6. And a friend of mine sold it using that photo that you guys saw at the beginning of this video. And I'm gonna put it up again here on the screen in a little bit, but first, like I said, we'll go into the backstory really quickly. So, after I got the camera in April, I kind of really just dove into photography, right? I was shooting every day, I was like going outside of my neighborhood, I was wandering and just trying to capture photos, right? And I made a lot of mistakes, a lot of mistakes. More on that in a future video, but, I made a lot of mistakes, but I kind of was having a lot of fun with it and I was learning things. Prior to that, like I said, I was shooting on my phone and my friend, John, who works in Best Buy, he happened to get a camera. And earlier this year, me and him went to a convention here in Florida, went to a Motaku Fest. We kind of took a couple bit of photos. And that was my first time kind of really messing around with a camera. Kind of, as I just took pictures, like every picture that I took on his camera was for the most part awful. I think like the only good ones were the ones that I shot in, on, in like auto and that's not saying a whole lot, but I was thrilled about that. It was very interesting to me that I didn't know what I was doing and like I, I had so much to learn and it only made me want to get a camera more. So we fast forward ahead now to where I have the camera. Like I said, I've been shooting quite a bit. I had just went out with my friend Alex who I've shown you guys like stuff that me and him have shot together here on this channel before. You can see the previous videos for that. And after shortly after shooting with him, I was kind of like, you know, I was kind of getting like the hang of things. I was kind of understanding what I needed to do. There was a couple of mistakes that I was making, but I was getting the idea down of like my composition and the kind of shots that I wanted to get and the things I wanted to do. But that was like a street shoot. So then there was another time where my my friend Jean, he was off from work and we kind of decided to hang out and we didn't really know what we wanted to do. You know, obviously it's still kind of in the midst of pandemic and things are a little crazy. So we we're kind of, we didn't we're sure what to really do. We ended up kind of just hanging out and driving around for a bit. And we decided to kind of find a place we could go use the camera. He had this cool little clubhouse by his house. That place was absolutely closed and we couldn't use it. It happened to be on a Sunday. So that was kind of dead. We couldn't go there. We went to a local park in his area over in West End, which was also closed. And there wasn't really anything going on there. And we didn't really have much of an idea of what we were going to do. So we were kind of heading back and it was like, we just didn't know where things were gonna go and what was gonna happen. And then we were kind of driving and he was like, I have an idea. And he was like, if this doesn't work, then I don't know what we're gonna do. We're just gonna have to call it for the day. So we were driving around and he took me into downtown Weston into like a little like shopping plaza with like a bunch of stores and tons of lights and everything, right? And it was fantastic. It was great. There was like barely any people. It was super like quiet. And we were out there and we were just shooting photos. Like we caught like some great reflection shots, just regular shots of just the scenery in the area. Kind of just messing around, shooting photos. But what was really cool about it was that I saw the rain. And I remember when we first started like wandering around to look at the place and kind of get photos. And I remember I saw like the streetway, right? And it was like the street and there was this big clock tower at the end of it and there was just the lights just leading to it and the streets were wet. And I remember we were sitting down in the car and we were eating and I was like, yo, it'd be so dope if I can get a photo of your car in this spot. We were kind of iffy about it because we were like, you know, cars are probably still kind of coming in and out. There were still cars in the plaza and we weren't sure, but I was like, it would be so sick. And I was, I had my mind set on it. Like I had it in my head and I was just set on doing this. So 
after shooting around, it was coming towards the end of the night. It was pretty late already. We kind of were like heading into like 11, close to midnight. And, and he was like, he had to go. And I was like, listen, really quickly, let me get a shot of your car. We're gonna pull up in front of the clock tower. You're gonna just park the car and I'm gonna hop out, shoot a couple photos, and then we'll, we'll, we'll haul out. You can just drop me off and do what you gotta do. And so he was like, we were still again, like a little unsure because we had to be careful we had to watch the point of mind traffic. Like literally the first time that we did it, like a car came by and we had to back up and, re and reposition the shot. But basically like he came in and he slid over and he kind of got the car kind of almost in the center. He didn't want to be blocking the way in case any cars were coming out. So we kind of had it. That's why if you see in this photo here, you'll see here that it was like a little bit off center, but he pulls in and he parks the car. And I literally hopped out immediately and I, I grabbed my camera and I set the settings as best that I could and I just started shooting. And I, I composed it as well as I could and this was one of the shots that I got. And this photo to me means a lot because this photo was the first photo since I've had the camera that like I've taken that I was extremely pumped on. The, the street photo shoot that I did with Alex was cool. Some of the photos that I've taken but prior on this camera was cool and they were nice and it was fun and all that stuff. But this was a photo that like when I got home and like I looked at it, not even when I was in the car even, and I was going through the photos in my, in my, in my camera when I saw it, I was like, this photo is sick. This photo looks so dope. And I was, I was super pumped on it. I remember I got home and like I pulled the photos off. I took the SD card, put it in my MacBook and I just pulled the raws off and I was, I threw them in the Lightroom and I was editing these photos. There's a couple of them that I've taken. There's a couple of them that are pretty cool that I liked, but this was the photo. And I, and I took it and I was messing around with it and just kind of tweaking it. I've posted this photo probably like three times on my Instagram in like different photo sets because it's just that cool of a photo to me that I like. And I remember that I shot it, I had it edited, and there's like another version of this exact photo. But what this photo has that the other one didn't is the lights. There was just a flare on the lights that I just, I caught it at like this right angle where it just looked so good. And it's not like that in the other photo. It's much more subdued and I liked it just that much more because it was such like this big like kind of flare cinematic look and this is a normal car this is a this is a 2021 toyota corolla and it just looks so sick after that i remember i sent him the photo and he was like he, he was impressed you know i turned his i made his car look like a sports car and i was like yeah that's how that's the vibe that like i got from it and that was the thing that i got from it like the the thought in my mind was like with the rain hitting the car the reflection of the lights like this looks like a car that's about to just absolutely ripped down the street and take off. You know, it looked so good to me. And the way that the rain had like those, just the lights reflecting off of the street, it just, everything came together in that photo. So fast forward ahead now, I sent him a copy of that photo because I was like, you know, it's my friend. I took that photo of his car, I wanted him to have it. And it was funny, so he called me one day and we're talking on the phone. He told me, he's like, Kyle, I sold an R6 with that photo you took. And I was like, what do you mean? And basically what he tells me is that a customer came into the store and they were looking for a camera to do, you know, like some photography and a bit of like professional work, I'm assuming, or just even if it was like just to be like casual for themselves. But they were really kind of into photography and they wanted a really good camera that they could take good photos and videos with. So they were kind of in the store. Like I said, he works in Best Buy. They're kind of in there looking around. He's talking with them, trying to help them out. And he ends up kind of like talking with them about the R6. And they're looking at it. They're looking at the price of the camera probably. And they're kind of like, you know, they weren't super sure which way they wanted to go with it. And then he remembered that I sent him that photo and he was like, you know what, hold on a second. And he reaches in and he pulls out his phone and he pulls up the photo and he shows it to him. He's like, I have a friend that owns this camera and this is a photo that he took on that camera. And the person saw the photo and they looked at it and they were like, that's what I wanna do. And they bought the camera. Ultimately they walked out of there with the camera. I don't remember specifically if they bought just the camera or they bought the camera and like the whole like bundle. I'm pretty sure they bought the bundle, if I'm remembering cor correctly. So technically speaking, they spent closer to $3,000, but the camera itself is $2,500. So there you go. He told me that, and I, I'm not gonna lie, I, I was I was pumped on that. I got I popped off a little bit in this car. I was like, let's go. Like I felt so good about that. In this case, like they looked at it, and they probably looked at this car and thought it looked really good, but they felt like that's something that I want to do, and that helped push them to buy a camera. And that's the kind of thing that I like. Whether it be cameras, or I talk to you guys about just creative direction with like YouTube and all those kind of things, or I talk to you guys about video games or tech or whatever it might be, that's what excites me, is to know that like I could have helped somebody else get into this. Or like I made somebody feel something with the work that I do. So I took it upon myself to print that photo because 
it's a photo that means a lot to me, not for just the sole fact that it's the first photo that like I've ever been super pumped on since I picked up a camera. To, to push it even further, to know that like, my friend was sold a camera to somebody else with that photo. And now that person has the chance to have that same experience. Honestly, I, I couldn't be happier about it. It's, it's probably the greatest feeling right now for me. And that's why I had to print that photo. And that's kind of why I wanted to share this little story with you guys. Cause like, you might not think that you're super great at whatever it is you're doing, or you're not sure about it yet, or you're just kind of starting out. Have fun with what you do. If you have an idea, pursue it. You never know what it might turn into. I had that little idea in my head to take a photo of my friend's car and it turned into being a photo that my friend sold a camera with. And now somebody else has a camera as a result of that photo and they might take great photos that'll go on to somebody else. Print your photos, honestly. If, you're, if you take photos and you have any kind of photo that you like, even if it's not a photo that's overall super good, print your photos. The memories are worth it. Trust me. Alrighty guys, pretty much that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I just kind of wanted to share a little story with you guys because it meant something to me. And I felt like, you know, being a little personal with you guys would be a good idea. I wanted to just, you know, share a cool moment in my life with you guys. So as always, if you liked the video, please go ahead and hit that like button, smash it, crush it, destroy it, all of that good stuff that, you know, we ask you guys to do on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comment below if you have any photos that you've taken that you, you're super, like, you know, a fan of or that you enjoyed. Or if there's any kind of like things that you've done where you've gotten somebody into something, share it in the comments below. Do you like the photo that I took? Well, let me know. That'd be kind of cool too. I'm, I'm all for it. Um, obviously, if you guys want to see more photos and stuff like that from me, I'm really active on my Instagram and my Twitter. So you guys can go ahead and follow me there. The links are down in the description below. I'll probably possibly also put it up here on the screen. We'll, we'll see how it goes in editing. But, you know. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it. So I love you. You're awesome. I appreciate you guys supporting me and subscribing to the channel, liking the videos, commenting, all that good stuff. It means the world to me. And hopefully I can keep doing this for a very long time to come. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, I, I left the lens cap. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just take this filter case and just kinda, yeah. Later guys.